Good evening, boys and girls. Our story tonight is Tad and Dad by David Ezra Stein. David wrote the story and drew the pictures, both. My dad has big buggy eyes, strong legs, and a huge mouth. So here's Tad and here's Dad. He sings in a loud burp that echoes across the pond. And I love him. As soon as I could wiggle, I swam everywhere with my dad. Look at me, dad. Great swimming, Tad. Dad tried to tuck me in at night, but splash, I followed him to his bed. Why are you in my bed, said Dad. So you won't miss me, I said. I went to sleep and dreamt that I could swim as fast as Dad. There we go. And then I grew legs. Surprise, Dad. So that's what was kicking me. Dad was trying to figure out what was kicking him. It was Tad who grew legs. That day I reached new heights. Look at me, Dad. Great hopping, son. Dad tried to tuck me in at night, but splash, I followed him to his bed. That night, I dreamt I was the best jumper in the world, just like Dad. And then I grew a big mouth and I could sing. Good morning, Dad. Is it morning already? That day, the pond was alive with the sound of music made by me and Dad. Dad tried to tuck me in at night, but splash, it's me, Tad, I said. That night, I dreamt I could sing as loud as Dad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is Dad happy? And then I grew really big, and I was very hungry. Hi, Dad. What's for breakfast? Oof. That day, we helped ourselves to a feast. Look at me, Dad. Great shot, son. Dad tried to tuck me in at night, but... Sploosh! Oh my goodness, look at that. Tad, 
bed, said Dad. When you jump in my bed, I can't sleep because you're always wiggling and poking and kicking and croaking. I didn't know I did that, I said. Why do you want to sleep in my bed, said Dad. Are you trying to drive me bananas? I'm sorry, Dad, but don't worry. I don't want to sleep in your bed anymore anyways. You snore. How can I snore when I don't even sleep, said Dad. Good night, Dad, I said. For the first time, I swam away from Dad. Ah, said Dad, peace at last. I tried to go to sleep, but I heard a big hubbub. Someone huge was splashing around. Frog gone it, said a loud voice. Uh-oh. Who could that be? I couldn't believe my eyes. It was Dad. He was wiggling and poking, kicking and croaking. He was splashing around and making a big ruckus. What's wrong, Dad, I said. I still can't sleep. Uh-oh, poor Dad can't sleep. I think I know what you need, Dad. A little company, I said. Is that better, Dad? Maybe better, he said. Do you think Dad got used to him sleeping with him? Could be. Soon Dad was fast asleep. Zzz. I was right. I knew he would miss me. the end. And with that, good night, sleep tight, and happy dreams. Bye now.